Hello everyone, this is Ross at Teacher Toolkit. This is video number nine of a series of 30 videos that I'm sharing to support teachers through the examination season. Um, I'd like to just thank the learning scientists, so on Twitter, at Ace This Test, um, for sharing some brilliant materials about dual coding. Uh, there's lots of debate on social media, a lot more access to research and cognitive approaches to teaching and learning. Um, so dual coding, very simply in this short video, um, you know, scaffold the work. I might ask, uh, sh uh, show students a particular text about describing a bicycle. I may then ask the students to draw that bicycle. What I would then introduce is after they've drawn their first picture, is then I would show them a picture of a bicycle and ask them to redraw the bicycle alongside the image itself. After I've showed them the two versions, you know, we can compare and contrast, peer assess, you know, leading up to possibly an examination question that you might have in your um, particular subject, you might then show the students the text and the image and ask the students to either annotate a drawing, construct a drawing, uh, describe the, the, the bicycle uh, in an essay, whatever it would be, you know, labeling, whatever. Um, that's a simple analogy of what dual coding is, so you can find out more um, by responding to this video and I'll send you the links to the research. Um, go on the Learning Scientist website, find out more. Um, it's a great technique for revision, uh, for improving retrieval, for improving student knowledge. Um, I'm possible, uh, it's possible that I've missed one or two points, um, but I'll reply with one or two comments to this thread. Uh, and thanks for watching. You can find out more on teachertoolkit.co.uk and check the resources on the Learning Scientist website.org.